Your Drive with Laurie and Damien on Mix 93.8. On the line with us, we have CEO and founder of NHBC Africa, Mr. Mike Anderson, joining us for the Business Boost. Mike, welcome back. How are you? All good, Damien. And yourself? Very good, thanks. Glad to have you on for a brand new week and uh, a really interesting one because I feel like this is for quite a few business owners in South Africa. How to get out of debt before Mm. it controls you. Uh, Apparently a number one request last week in a global SNAP survey. There's absolutely no doubt that debt can squeeze the absolute joy out of being an entrepreneur. So how do we move past it? How do we protect ourselves and, and, and kind of flourish into the future? Yo, Damien, what's so relevant now, why I wanted to bring it into our discussion, is, 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 is that this release of these findings, it's not so much now, more, more than ever now, uh, business owners and their SMBs that own and control, of course, they are more in debt than ever before. But the actual touch on the server is, that's important, but it's how you approach this debt. Mm. You can mm. make the right decision or the wrong decision. The right decision will get you a turnaround quickly, peace of mind, move in the right direction, and the wrong uh, approach to it will be catastrophic. And and, and I think that's quite relevant to many SMEs, not only in South Africa, but around the world. Mm. And I mean, do do you spend sleepless nights worrying about your business debt and if your business is not doing what it should be doing and is out of control with debt? high operating expenses, poor sales. Of course, now is the time to adopt the principle of lean before it's too late. So let, firstly, let's get rid of everything we don't need, large offices, expensive cars, poor performing or excessive staff, which is a tough one. Just get brutal on the overheads and operating expenses. Secondly, scrutinize every element of your business, the business model, business plan, sales and financial forecasts, marketing strategy, and a whole lot more. It's now all about creating a brighter, less stressful view of the road ahead. Handling debt can be one of the most difficult challenges a small business owner can face. Even worse, your credit score, not to mention your business reputation, will take a severe hit, making it nearly impossible to regain business stability. With a plan in place and a commitment to eliminating the debt, your business can soon be debt-free. Wow. Mike, tell us about a few helpful tips to control debt before it controls you. Well, that's such a good uh, point. You know, I'm, I'm going to talk about four key issues that's come out in the spotlight globally over the past uh, uh, week. And let's look at these, and, and we all kind of know them, but we really don't address these issues. First of all, be honest with yourself. If the demand for your product or service isn't there anymore, you have to take action and change direction. You cannot keep doing what you are doing and expect different results. We've spoken about that before. Mm. But if you really think your business would thrive if only your debt payments were lower, then you are on the right track. With a firm grasp on the nature of the problem and having taken steps to make sure the problem won't reoccur, you're ready for your plan of attack. Point number two, eliminate, this again we've spoken over many months in in, in different formats, eliminate every expense that you can live without. Reduce your monthly expenses to the lowest possible number. You have to be tough here as you can't build a new profit base when you're still using yesterday's expense model. Only purchase what you really need. Perhaps you can sublease unused space or sell off unused equipment while shrinking your workforce is not an attractive option for a business owner. Yeah, they, come, they kind of come close to you. It may be necessary to keep your business alive. Now, importantly, this is an important one. Reach out to your creditors. Many creditors are willing to work with you in a manner that will help them get their money without having to resort to legal measures, which no one wins in any event. They are mainly interested in getting their money back and will hopefully be reasonable or should be reasonable. Prioritize the debt payoff process. For loans, credit cards and other types of debt, arrange the debts according to the interest rate the business is paying on the debt. Confront your creditor confidence. The point here, the big point here is don't run away from them. And then finally, also a very important point, consolidate the debt. Consolidate your business loans into one payment which may reduce monthly costs without negatively affecting your credit and your credit score, of course. Deal with a single creditor rather than many and perhaps get a loan with a lower interest rate and that's going to give you peace of mind. So the key thing is here in these four issues, really seize them. And you know what's really coming out a lot and, and I, know, I know we've all heard about this, you know, when you get into debt, you know, 
turn off your phone and, and, and close your door and, and hide. <laughs> you know? and, you know, and the point is, and I understand why people do that. You know, it's, it's hard. It's, it's, you know, your business at stake, your family's at stake. Shameful, really, yeah. But, you know, you've got, to, you've got to confront it with empathy, with positivity. It also shows your creditors that you care and that you're willing to take responsibility. And I don't often meet many creditors who don't, who don't uh, uh, enjoy that approach, who aren't willing to help. Mike, some definite food for thought if, uh, you know, people want to kind of follow up on, on the, the topics that we, we cover on the show. Mm. Uh, are we able to do so on the website? Do you guys kind of Absolutely. post this stuff up there? And oh, then where can yeah. we send them? Yeah, first of all, www.nspc.africa or anything you need from us. Info at nsbc.africa. Pop us a mail. Thank you so, so much, Mike. We will catch up again next week for more pearls of information from you. Look forward. Thank you, team. All the best. Your drive with Laurie and Damien on Mix 93.8.